Hey, good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday so far. You know, yesterday we did that Chris Vector water gel gun review. So today I thought it might be a pretty good idea for those of you who might be slightly interested in this type of toy to teach you guys how to make the gel ball ammo that actually shoots out of these blasters. So, welcome to today's tutorial. All right, guys, let's begin the tutorial with everything that you're going to want to need. And I just want to give you a couple of tips when it comes to the actual gel balls themselves. Uh, the coffee is actually not to help grow. That's actually for me to jumpstart my battery this morning. Keep in mind that when you're buying gel ball ammo, it comes in different sizes and different amounts in the packages. For instance, when I bought the uh, Desert Eagle pistol, it came with these absorbent ones and they're 500 in a pack as opposed to when I bought the P90 and they only have 300 in a pack. Now I did buy the Desert Eagle from a US based um, seller so i actually got all the stuff in directions in english so as you see these are seven to eight millimeter balls and you need 180 milliliters of water in order to grow these 500. now keep in mind when i bought the p90 i bought it off ebay from a chinese seller and everything is in chinese so i am actually at this current moment not sure what size these are i'm gonna have to go back and look at the listing to mark these so i, I know for the future and these green ones were given to me when I got the package from Light Take for the actual grenade. So just keep in mind, I, I'm not sure how big these are either. And that's a problem going forward because I can't put these in other, you know, guns if I don't know the size of the ammo. So if you do happen to know it, you might want to just put a little mark on something so you don't forget. But here, no, there, let's get into what we're trying to do today. And that's actually grow this ammo. So... As you can see on the back of this pack, it said 180 milliliters of water for 500 rounds. So I need to cheat because I'm old and I'm not a youngster in school anymore. So if I look, three quarters cup equals 180 milliliters. So I'm gonna grow a thousand rounds. So I'm gonna make that one and a quarter, one and a half cups of water. So simply, all you gotta do is cut the packet, pour it in your bottle, uh, in your container. Make sure they all come out. Pour the second one in. Okay, and then simply add water. Okay, now after about four hours, it's gonna basically look like this. All right, here we are at the first 15 minute mark and as you can see they've already gotten considerably bigger we'll just stir them a little bit from time to time and we'll set it down for another 15 minutes we are at the 30 minute mark and as you can see the water is absorbing a lot more into these gel balls so let's go ahead and reset the clock do another 15 minutes here we go Here we are at the 45, uh, what you call it, 45 minute mark. Not looking bad, looking good actually. All right, let's get this thing going again. Okay guys, you're looking at one hour in and you can tell the balls are really like starting to fill out and they are, it's pretty thick in here actually. So I'm gonna set it up for another 30 minutes revisit all right guys I should have let the time just continue to go throughout the entire thing instead of resetting the clock but we're at an hour and 30 minutes right now and as you can see the water starting to dissipate and absorb into all of the ammo so we're gonna set this up and we're gonna set it up for another hour um, so that'll be two next time I stop it time right now we're at about two hours and 30 minutes and as you can see I really didn't see the water level drop anymore in this last um, hour so I think we're pretty much where we're gonna need to be so I'm gonna go ahead and strain these and bring them right back okay, I went ahead and strained them basically just using my hand and as you can see they're looking pretty good so what I like to do after I'm done with that is I like to go ahead and lay them on a towel and kind of just take a paper towel and sort of just run it over them 
just to try to get as much of the excess water as I can off them because I don't want, I want as the least amount of water as possible inside an electronic gun. Um, you know, water and electricity don't match too well. So this will actually prolong the le longevity of your blasters if you kind of get as much of the excess water as you can off. And as you see, there was a little bit, it, they're damp. They're not wet, it's just damp. So let's go ahead and fire the pistol a little bit and you know, we grew this ammo, so let's have some fun shooting. Okay guys, this is the Desert Eagle Terminator or Thunder. I should, yeah, Terminator Thunder <laughs> with a fake silencer. We're gonna go ahead and shoot the rounds that we just grew. 30 feet. And as you can see, I am nailing that slide and the green background. This pistol has zero problems reaching that far. It is fully automatic. It's just a lot of fun Switch to over shoot. and hit the birdhouse. Keep in mind, guys, if you'd like to see the review video on this pistol, it's up on my channel. I'll have a card pop up right now in the upper left-hand corner. And go ahead and click it, and you'll take it to the playlist for my water gun blaster reviews. <laughs> this thing is so much fun. As you can see, the pistol is far more reliable than the... Um, the Chris Vector kit I did last night. I don't have nearly as many misfires and I don't have to shake the pistol really at all. And as you can see, I can hit probably close to 60 feet with this thing with zero problems. Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to make gel ball ammo. It's actually really easy. It's inexpensive to get these and you can grow them in abundance. So I'm gonna go back to shooting because I got a whole bunch of ammo to go ahead and do. You know time is valuable. I appreciate yours. See you guys next time on the CJ Nerf channel. Later, fellas.